Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is the Rainbow Man Buck, and before we start this video, I want to say that part of this video was recorded in single player, and the other part was recorded in multiplayer. The biggest thing you guys will notice is the fact that the caster wheels will not work once we swap to the multiplayer part of this. Uh, when we're on the Pinewood Farm, it's a single player part of this map, like my regular map, that's where you guys will see when I'm loading the mowers onto the trailer. The caster wheels will work, but once we swap over to the multiplayer series and I'm moving around a lot with them, I kind of hide that part because the caster wheels didn't work. It's some scripting thing, I'm 99% sure. I'm going to look into that, see if I can't get that fixed. But because the other guy was hosting the multiplayer session, when you watch his video, the caster wheels will work. So that's just a quick explanation behind why I'm kind of hiding my wheels. It's not that my mods are broken, it's just that for right now it's some scripting error. So enough for me jabbering, let's get into the video. Top of the morning to you ladies, my name is the Rental Man Buck, and welcome back to the landscaping series where... Uh, today we got a little bit of a bigger job. We're gonna fire up our Mustang here because we're gonna take this to work. Actually, no, we're gonna roll this out too while we're at it just so we can kind of do... We gotta warm up just a little bit before we head to work. Even though it is Tuesday, it's a beautiful Tuesday and it's 65 out, we are going to uh, shut the door as well. But today we got some bigger contracts. Uh, we just signed it yesterday. We'll have more contracts within the coming weeks, but today we have to head across the county to... I mow a couple families' lawns in the next town over. It's about 10 miles out west of here, so we're going to make our way over to the landscape shop, and we are going to be the first ones there. It's only 7.30 in the morning. Uh, we usually don't open until 8, but I wanted to get a move on to the... Com I wanted to get a move on on this contract. Tim said he'd be following in with me, so that way he can at least kind of keep the shop under watch while I'm gone. And just that way we don't have anything stolen, because I'm going to leave the gates open once I get there. But I'll catch you all once we get to the shop, because it's going to take a second to get all this stuff set up. As you guys can also see, uh, my camera is being a little bit more rough. I found out how to get the... A camera where it would fall back into the back half of the seat when you're driving really fast. I just turned off the dy dynamic camera so that way it will actually I almost like it better because it follows it doesn't have, have to worry about moving my mouse to see where I'm going. If I hit a bump, I hit a bump. So let's get the gate open here. We're actually going to have to back up really quick because I don't know if this is going to hit the car. There we go. So let's pop into our parking spot. But yeah, we're going to see how this camera mode works. I'm already liking it because I don't have to worry about my mouse not being able to see out where I'm going. Uh, let me know down what you guys think about that. What we're first going to do though is we're going to park up the Mustang, head into the shop. Oh, got a little stick there. Um, we're going to head into the shop. We're going to get the Ford Transit off of the load trail and then uh, get the Chevy. Let's also get the Chevy fired up because that's what we're going to be hauling with today. We'll get that fired up as well as the Lizard. And this we actually don't need, so oh, we have to disconnect the electrical, disconnect the hitch. We'll bowl this out, and we'll let the Chevy hook up to that. We are This is going to be a longer episode, just because um, we're going to be doing some traveling, but let's get ourselves hooked up to the load trail. I think today what we're going to do is we're going to take the GS45 and the 648R uh, stand-on, so get that in line with the hitch. There we go. Line that up. Pick up our electrical, actually, before we do that. Oh, not the hustler. There we go. We'll pull this out. We'll get the ramps down. And we'll park up the transit van well before we leave as well. So let's get those down. Back up our transit van back into its stall. That guy still hasn't come to pick up his truck yet, so we'll keep it in here. But now we're probably going to start charging him until the day he comes and picks it up. Here we go. And let's grab the 648R first. We don't have any gas right now in any of our canisters here, so we're going to have to make a stop at the station um, on the west side of town. I stuck? Oh, I went between the ramps. Okay, this I'm going to have to do out here, but we'll get these all loaded up and I'll get four of you guys what we need to do. There we go. Sorry about that. Kind of had a little bit of a mishap when it came to the uh, molar, lowering them up. So we got those all strapped down. We're going to head our way over to the gas station because, like I said, we don't have any gas in our canisters right now. 
And I said Tim was going to be here in a minute, so he'll keep watch of the store. Well, he'll keep watch of the, uh, the shop, but we don't have any gas, so we're going to go over to the gas station. We're going to fill up uh, the mowers quick, so that way we make sure we have fuel. We'll have uh, probably one of the shop guys go over there and fill up our canister, so that way we'll make sure we have fuel next time. But we'll make our way over to the gas station, and then after that, we're going to head out to the lawn. So we'll catch you all in just a second. As you guys probably saw there, I was going 90. I swear when I drive any truck, the height off the ground really gets me. You feel like you're going only 25 and then you realize you're going 90. So we're going to use the gas station here probably on our right because I think they're usually always a little bit lower. But what's that Dodge? Huh. Is that a 3500 fifth gen? Hmm. Well, we're going to pull up here to pump six quick. We'll get ourselves some fuel and then we'll be out of here. There we go. We just got ourselves the fuel. It was about $15. We didn't need much, but the GS45 was low because we already used it on a contract job. So we're going to make our way out of here. And then we might have to contact the seller of about that Dodge because I think what we could do is possibly swap out the dump bed on the back of our OBS and use that truck as our new dump bed because I would love to have that Dodge. So... Enough talking, let's get over to the next county and I'll see you guys once we get to that house. Um, not too big of a town here. I think this is this guy right? No, it's this one. This is our house right here. Right across from there. Pretty nice house, actually. We'll get our stuff unloaded here, and then we will start mowing away. We'll probably start with our GS45, since it's going to be our easiest mower to work with. Let's back it off the trailer here. And let us get to cutting. We'll probably use this just for the simplicity of... Actually, we got to turn on the hazards quick. Hold on. There we go. Now we got our hazards on, so... Let's get to mowing. Make sure there's no one coming on the streets. And I believe they said the property line's right here on this tree. So let's fire up the GS45 and I'll see you all in a second.
All right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, 648R work to do the rest. It, it goes a little faster on the on the straight, so we're going to use that. We'll finish that up, and I'll catch you guys again once we get all this stuff done. <laughs> Should be it right here. Oh, nope, missed the spot. Hold on. Come on. There we go. Now we're talking turkey. Oh, it won't be perfect, but we don't have a weed whacker. So that's going to do it for that lawn right there. And let's load this back up onto the trailer. We'll head to the gas station quick and uh, we'll grab a bite to eat. And then we'll probably head back to the shop and have some fun. So I'll catch you all in just a second. Just rolling into the gas station here. Looks like we got possibly another... Oh, it says wrong way. We'll be fine. We're going to break some rules here quick. But we're just going to back it in over here. Looks like we got another fellow landscaper. Possibly. I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. Looks like he possibly wants to talk to us, too. That's good enough. Well, how, hey there. How you doing there, bud? Good. How about you? Uh, not too bad. Uh, sorry, my park job. I got him to grab a quick snack here. Uh, do you run a landscape company over there, bud? Yes, I do. Do you? Yeah. Actually, I just got done with a job. Uh, I, I just gonna... finished up on a lawn. Oh, you did? Well, what's the name of your company? Squarescape Landscaping. Oh... I think I've—I don't think I've heard of that. Where are you guys based out of? I'm out of the county over. Oh, that's probably why I might have heard of you. Cause I'm—I'm I'm same thing. I'm probably—I mean, east or west of here. West. Oh, I'm east, so that—that that would explain why. So surprised that we got the same county here. Uh, what? I never got your name. What's your name, bud? Square. Square. I'm Buck. How you doing? Good, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I was gonna go inside and get a donut and a bottle of water. I don't know about you, but. All right, what are you, what are you running over there? Is that a walker? Yes, I'm walking the uh, full walker with a bagging system. Ooh, you got the fancy stuff. Oh, I love this trailer. Yeah, it's a single axle. Yeah, I love those pinstripes it's got on it. It's a really nice design there. Uh, so how are you? What's like? What kind of scale do you guys do for lawns? Is it? We do a lot of hardscaping and we do the weekly lawn maintenance. This is one of the many. Uh, setups that we run. No, oh, that's that's nice. I mean, it's, it's not good to have a scale of what you're going to be running. But I'll, I don't know about you. Uh, depending on what the jobs are coming up, I mean, if we ever need to do any, I, if I ever run out of room, if I have a shorthanded, would you be able to possibly help sometime? Yeah, sure. All right. Well, I'll I have a business card with me here in my wallet, so. If you ever need me, I'm Buck. I work for Rental Rocket Landscaping. I'm actually the head founder of it. But I'll catch you in just a second. I'm actually going to go in here and I'm going to grab a, again, the donut and water. So I'll be right back. All right. I was actually surprised you still stuck around, but uh, we kind of got a little bit of an offer, say, from the uh, town here. But I'm not sure if you'd be willing to help me with it. So... The head main maintenance guy of the town here, they said that they got a baseball tournament for some of the kids tonight. 
and the mower that they have for the field is actually down. It's not working right. And he asked if, because he saw that we literally two landscape guys here, would you possibly be willing to help me mow the baseball field? Yeah, sure. I could definitely fit it in today. Okay. I mean, I got nothing to do. I'm just heading back to the shop with anything. So I think it's on the north side of towns where the field's at. They said just do the whole field wherever it was. I mean, if you want to run the walker in the infield, because outfield usually they can leave the grass shavings. But, I mean, if you want to use that walker on the infield, that'd be probably pretty fun. Yeah, let's head over there. All right. I'll meet you over there in just a second, bud. Thank you. So it looks like we're going to be meeting uh, this square guy who apparently runs a landscaping company as well. We're going to head over to the ball field. I'll follow him because I have an idea of where I'm going, but I don't have a really, really great idea. Ooh, we're going to hit the curb here. But let's uh, head out to the baseball field, so I'll catch you guys once we get there. It looks like we actually have arrived, so I'm going to park over here to the left of him. Ooh, okay, well this is actually a road. I'm going to park over here. There we go. Should be fine. Okay, our ramp's lowered here. You like running these deers? Oh, I love them. That that little belt-driven uh, GS45. That's that's my main that's my main uh, running machine besides our new uh, Hustler Super Z that we got back at the shop. But I didn't know if I was I didn't know I was going to be mowing a, a baseball field today. So <laughs> kind of glad that I got you with the walker to help out with that extra 48-inch deck. Yeah. I think that there should be a few ways into the uh, baseball field here for us. Yeah, probably right around the dugout areas. They'll have the little uh, entrances, the little gates to get in and out. Probably have to do those. I'll have to see if I have to pull the little backup trick where you get part of the deck on the inside of the fence line and then back it through so it's kind of like a shorter deck. I don't know, depending on how wide the gap is. But I'm actually going to get this fired up here quick because, I don't know. All right, let me get mine fired up and get going. All right. All right, you ready to go? Yep, I'm gonna get going on the infield and then I will help out yep. uh, around the dugouts as well. Sweet, let's do this. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the foul line and work our way around. I'd say we are. Um, obviously, mine's not as noticeable because I'm kind of going in a very unorganized yeah. ring, but you're definitely making headway. What are you going on that thing? Like 12? Yeah, you're I'm just sailing. Out. The walkers have a pretty fast travel speed uh, for mowing. It's 11, 12 miles per hour. I say that thing is that thing is that thing is moving, dude. Yeah, uh, definitely uh, will help you out once I get these sections done right. on the outside. I was just say you, uh, I didn't do the outside of the foul line on the le on the right side of the field. So if you want to do that side as well, that'd be great. Yeah, I would do that. All right.
right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go swap out for the 648R. My legs are getting tired from walking, so we're going to be able to, first of all, stand on a mower, but also be able to go at least 11 mile an hour while mowing. So we'll, head, we'll do that, and we'll get right back to mowing. I was getting tired of walking, so I went and grabbed the other mower. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good idea. This definitely has a good traveling speed as well. Oh yeah, I was able to, I'm a, instead of being able to go like 6 or 7, I'm able to go at least 11 with this thing. So, a little bit shorter cutting width, but sometimes the speed's a little bit better. <laughs> Is it a 52 inch? Uh, 48. Ah. Uh, it's a little bit shorter, about 4 inches, so. I'm going to get back I to the outfield. What? I'll be definitely helping you out out there after a few passes here. Alright. Just finishing up on the last few passes here. I don't know why these mowers get so dirty so fast, but either way, that's gonna do, at least do it for the baseball field. Unless there's just one spot I think I missed. Yep, there's one spot right there. And boop, there we go. All right, well let's meet back up at the trailers with him, and we'll chat with him probably for a little bit, and then we should be good unless we didn't get the back of the ball diamond. Nope, he's loading up. I think. Maybe? Oh no, he's missed a spot. Yep. Well, we're gonna load these things back up onto the trailer, possibly chat with him for a little bit, and we're gonna head back to the uh, shop, and then that will probably conclude the episode. That was a lot of mowing at the field we just did. Oh yeah. I gotta try and load this thing up here. These casters, they're weird. They don't, it's like, they're just wide enough to where they can get on the ramp, but if I don't hit it just right, then they don't work. There we go. Before I take the mower out the next time, I'm going to scrape the uh, deck to Oh yeah, got to clean that. It. Most definitely. That's the longest I think I've ever seen a baseball field actually have for grass. Yeah, that was a lot of grass we mowed. It's nice to get up and uh, stretch after that. Definitely. I mean, my legs are sore just from standing, but then just standing even more. Yeah. There we go. Well, that was a fun one. Yeah, that was like, awesome that uh, we could work together uh, mm -hmm. and bring the two companies to do something good for the uh, baseball uh, players. Oh, yes. I think they'll be able to have that league tournament tonight. Should be nice yeah. and clean out there. I mean, we spread it out enough to where they I don't think they have to worry about, like, clumps and, and tripping and all that stuff. But I don't know about you. My schedule is I got stuff that I got to do later this afternoon with paperwork. So thank you again for your service here, bud. And I'll probably be heading back over to my shop if you ever need to stop by we're over just like you know the other county over and that's just where we're out of so yeah um, i will definitely give you a call on the next big mower project all right hopefully this time i am actually intelligent come prepared and i have my zero turn with me because i don't think i'm going to yeah. be cutting with a 48 inch again <laughs> yeah that's too small but all right talk to you I, later all right thanks bud have a good one well he seems like a fun guy but we are going to make our trip back to Nebraska. Glad that we could get that baseball field done for them. Legion players should be able to play on that now. Um, job well done. We didn't really charge them anything just because of... Uh, we didn't I didn't really have a whole lot to do, but we do have to get back for paperwork. Throw them a little bit of a honk of the horn, and we'll, mark our, we'll make our way back to Nebraska. So... Be sure to check out Square2448 if you guys have already not. He's a really great guy. Uh, finally got the chance to meet him and get, uh, play in a game with him. Because we are in multiplayer, it's a shame that I couldn't get my caster wheels to work on the mower. So you guys couldn't really see that. But hey, you can only do what you can do. Uh, I might actually cut it right. I might actually stop the episode right here because we don't really have a whole lot to do. But thank you all for stopping by. If this is a little bit longer of a video, 
my apologies, but be sure to check out the Boomstick Club with all the up-to-date content. From, you, from me and the gang, you all know who's a part of it, plus now Square is in it, so be sure to check him out again, like I said, if you haven't already not. Um, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you all for uh, coming out here, checking out this landscaping video, and I'll see you on the next one. Rental Man out. Peace.